Hi, my name is Mike Wagner. I'm uh, the Senior Product Manager for Aerie Lighting. And we're here at IBC 2016 and we've got a couple of new products and they all kind of revolve around the sky panel line of LED soft lights. Um, so this right here, this is our newest product. It's the S120C. And the S120C joins the S60 and the S30 in the sky panel range. The main difference, of course, is that it's much larger. So what we've done is we've actually made it twice as long as the S60. You get the same uh, output as the S60 and the same power consumption, but you get a much larger aperture. Of course, one of the most important things when it comes to soft lights is to have a really large aperture. It allows the light to wrap around uh, faces very nicely. It gives a beautiful quality of light, and you can light a lot of uh, large areas with the S120. So, uh, it's got all the same great features, of course. All of the sky panels are fully tunable. You could tune them from 2800 degrees Kelvin to 10,000 degrees Kelvin. You have the plus and minus green correction, the hue and saturation control. And of course, as we release the new firmware 2.0 at NAB, we also have the gel mode included, which allows you to quickly select digital versions of Roscoe and Lee gels. So the, the great thing about having this kind of a, a tall, long uh, sky panel is that you could not only use it horizontally, but you could also use it vertically as well. And of course, for lighting people, which you know, if, if a person is standing, they're vertical, you could light a person from, uh, from toe to head with uh, just one light source. Or if you're trying to light a really large area, you could do so with the S120 and do it with fewer fixtures, which means fewer cables, fewer rigging points. Um, and that's, that's the really great thing about the, uh, the S120. Uh, we're shipping it uh, this month in September, so it's going to be starting shipping from our factory just in just a few weeks. So that's the S120. Uh, we also uh, released a new accessory for the Sky Panel, which is the Sky Panel Remote. So the Sky Panel Remote works with all of the Sky Panels, of course, including the new one. And the main purpose of it really is that we got a lot of feedback from customers that said, you know, the Sky Panel it might be up high on a light stand and we just want to be able to adjust the color temperature or the intensity and we don't want to have to get a ladder or we won't have to bring the light, the, uh, the sky panel down from the light stand. We just want a simple way of controlling maybe one or two sky panels. And that's why, that's where this kind of came from, the idea for this came from. So we're able to do all of the same things that we can do with the onboard controller, we could do with the remote. So changing the color temperature, changing the intensity, and even accessing all of the menu features so if you want to change the fan mode or if you want to change the DMX protocol or, or whatever it might be, you could do that all from here. So it's a wired solution. We use a USB cable to connect to the sky panel. So it's actually being powered from the sky panel. So there's no batteries needed. And it uh, means a really uh, almost zero latency control over the fixture because we're using the USB cable. So uh, the other cool thing is we have a magnet on the back of it. So when you're done adjusting something, you could just attach it to the light stand uh, instead of letting it dangle by the cord, you could actually be attached to something. Very ergonomic, handheld design, really easy to use. This product will be shipping in November, and we think it's a really great accessory for all the sky panels. Uh, the last thing that we're showing here at the show is a new firmware. So hot off the heels of firmware 2.0, we now have also firmware 2.5. And we came out with 2.5 in order to give a couple of features specifically for the remote, but also to enhance some things that we had in the sky panel already. So the first thing is what we call the master-slave mode. Master-slave mode, if you enable one fixture to be the master, you could daisy chain through 5-pin DMX to other fixtures, and then the master will control all of those fixtures instantly. So you could set the color temperature on here, and all the slave fixtures will match that. So if you didn't want to have to set up a whole DMX network, if you didn't want to have a lighting console, but you wanted to control all the fixtures at once, the master slave mode is perfect. And of course, if you wanted to use the remote for that as well, you can imagine having the sky panel remote attached to the master fixture and then control all the fixtures from the ground with the remote. So the master slave mode is really, really useful. Um, we also have, uh, we're expanding on our very popular gel feature. So we added 41 new gels to the line. These are some of the Lee Series 700 gels. So that brings our new total up to 318 digital gels pre-programmed into firmware 2.5. We've also expanded the DMX protocol for the gel mode. So before, you could only select one gel. But now you can actually select two gels and you could crossfade between the two gels. Not only can you crossfade between the two gels, 
but you can actually choose how you crossfade between the two gels. Whether you're going directly to that color, or whether you're going through a white point, or through a black point, or around the white point, or over the white point. So it gives a lot of options for how you want to transition and how you want to pick color. And speaking of color, one of the other features is a new DMX protocol called the XY coordinate DMX protocol. And what this is basically is it enables you to select an X coordinate and a Y coordinate that correlate to the CIE 1931 chromaticity diagram. So if you know that, it's a little bit more of an advanced way of picking a color, but if you know the XY coordinate of a particular color that you're trying to reach, you can very easily enter that into the DMX protocol and get that exact color. Because of our lights are calibrated, it's a calibrated color space, and that means that if you pick an XY coordinate on this sky panel, it's going to match another sky panel. And of course, you're able to fade between two different uh, coordinates as well with this DMX protocol. And then we added a couple of smaller things. So for example, we have the ability to uh, hold down the encoder here, and that will lock all of the settings on, this, on the uh, control panel, whether it be the remote or whether it be the onboard. You could lock it so that if you didn't want anyone pressing or knocking the, the knobs accidentally, this prevents that from happening. And just to unlock, you just hold down the encoder for another five seconds, and now you can make adjustments. We also have uh, to add a little bit more uh, versatility to our battery mode. If you connect, of course, all of the sky panels can be powered by a battery. Uh, we give the option now of you being able to set, set a voltage level. So if the battery drops below a certain voltage level, it'll actually give you a warning on the screen. And that will basically take the guesswork out of when you need to change the battery so that you, the light doesn't turn off in the middle of a take. So that's uh, most of the features in 2.5. We have a bunch of little enhancements as well. Um, but those are the main features. And so that's all the features. We have the S120C, which starts shipping this month. We have the Sky Panel Remote and the new firmware. And the new firmware will be available for download later this month as well as a free download from our website. So if you are looking for more information, please visit our website at www.airy.com. And thanks a lot for joining us.